What's going on, everyone? Well, welcome to the Sean Mullen Show. I hope you're having an excellent day. And let's get this video started. So, um, anyway, I, I changed my name back uh, from Life Lover uh, to the Sean Mullen Show because, you know what I mean? I, I really, I mean, no, no, trolls are, no trolls are attacking me. No one's attacking me. And so, I mean, plus everyone knows who I am. So, I mean, I just thought, well... You know, I'm just going to change my name to the back to the Sean Mullen show because that's where most most of people uh, know me is by Sean Mullins instead of you know Life Lover or the one and only or anything like that. Anyway, um, I just uh, I just want to say that uh, I just want to make a video about Jesse Smollett, Jesse Smollett, uh, Jesse Smollett. Empire actor, um, if, if, I'll just I'll just say I'll just go back and briefly describe uh, you know the hoax and what's going on and you know you can form your own opinion. Um, so anyway, he uh, he was uh, he, he accused two white Trump supporters um, of attacking him at in, at a subway in Chicago. He said that he was going to get a, a, a sandwich from Subway at 3 a.m. When, when two Trump supporters came and attacked him, shouting racial slurs and, this is MAGA country, MAGA country, and put a noose around his neck, which turned out to be a complete hoax. Um, because the two people that claimed, that he, that claimed uh, to assault him, that he claimed that... The, that um, he was assaulted by these two people were actually Nigerians who um, rehearsed this with Jesse Smollett. They actually went to the store and bought all the stuff to rehearse this. So Jesse Smollett faked a hate crime to try to make tr Donald Trump and his supporters look like demons. And so, um, and he was indicted on 16 felony charges. He was going to be prosecuted, and he was going to be—he uh, was arrested and charged, and he was going to serve some prison time. Until this past Tuesday, when the Chicago DA, the district attorney, decided not to prosecute him, decided to to let the son of a bitch go free, decided to let him go free, despite him making pe making the uh, Chicago PD and the lives of Chicago's Chicagans hell. The people in Chicago, he made. Their lives a living hell, and he and he's gonna be let go. He's gonna be he's gonna walk free. What is in your mind, the district attorney? What is in your mind? And, and the Chicago police are really pissed off, and so is um, Manuel. I think, yeah, uh, the mayor of Chicago, uh, Emmanuel or whatever his name is, M Mayor Emmanuel or whatever. Um, he's mad too. What he wants is Smollett to. Uh, pay Chicago a hundred thousand, a hundred thirty thousand dollars, and on this and on the check he wants to he wants him to say I am accountable for the hoax, which is which I, I'm I'm in full support of that. Jesse Smollett, you're a piece of shit. You are really a piece of shit, dude. You're a scumbag, and you're and you you're a fucking piece of shit, dude. You really are, and there there's there's no sugar there's no sugar coating that. There, there's no filter on that. You are a fucking piece of shit. You are a fucking loser. And let me tell you this too. You know the the things that you claim to happen. It's just another attack on Trump supporters. It's another attack on President Trump, who's ma who's doing a marvelous job to protect this country. It's another way for you to sit there and attack him just like all the other left um, stupid ass fucking media that want to sit there and attack Trump day in and day out every day. The man can't even breathe without being attacked. That's how evil you people are and that's how that's how miserable your lives are. So, and plus there, I mean, there's plenty of evidence, plenty of evidence to convict him, and but the, and, and, but instead, the Chicago District Attorney let him go, let him walk free, to let him to go back on our streets. And here's the thing: I was watching a video from this other from uh, someone. I'll shout him out, Douglas M. Ducote Sr. He said that um, he said that that our justice system is corrupt, and that. You know, if you're if you have money and power, 
you will not be held accountable. But if you were a, if you were a white Christian or a Trump supporter, you wouldn't see the light of day. That is absolutely, absolutely spot on with that comment. Because it's true. I mean, it's Democrats and the and the fuck Trump media mob. Oh, when, when every time they do something stupid, they always get a pass in everything, which is absolutely fucking ludicrous. It is absolutely fucking ludicrous. I don't understand why they are still they their party still exists. I really don't understand why their party is still still exists because they obviously want to divide us. It's it's clear. I mean, anyone with a with some common sense knows this. That's what Jesse Smollett's trying to do with his supposed fucking hate crime. And what really pisses me off is the fact that Jesse, Jesse, you son of a bitch, there are actual fucking hate crimes that are going on around the world. There are actual, like, genocide and, and you know, the wiping out of races and the wiping out of, like, religions and shit. For example, the, um, the massive attack on Christians in Nigeria. About a thousand Christians were dead, and they're attack and and they're, they're they're killing Christians. But yeah, no one wants to sit there and talk about that, huh? No one wants to sit there and talk about Muslims that are wanting to come into our country and kill our American people, you know, and uh, st shit like this. But 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 the media wants to give attention to um, a, a, a a liar and a dishonest piece of shit. But instead, but it wants to give attention to those people, but not actual victims that are suffering through hate crimes and genocide and the wiping out of races and the wiping out of religions and and uh, other um, political rivalries and parties and stuff. You won't sit there and talk about that. But the thing is, is this. There, I mean, but the, the thing is, is n no one, no one will believe. People that have actually gone through hate crimes. No one will believe it. No one, be no one will believe anyone because of this Jesse Smollett who faked this hate crime. And we, and I, I, you know what? I knew this was a hoax from the beginning because I don't even know who, who the fuck gets a noose tied around their fucking neck. That's 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 far fetched. Plus, which uh, what what subways open at three a.m. Comment down below if you know of a subway that's open at 3 a.m. Or I may just Google search, but I don't know where in Chicago the address that he's claimed to be at. No subway I know is open at 3 a.m. And, and, and you just think that, you know, Trump supporters or conservatives are just walking around in the middle of the night just looking for somebody to attack. I, it's not, it's totally absolute fucking preposterous. It is absolutely pre preposterous, and here's the thing: you want, and you know, you want to sit there, and the Democrats want to sit there and talk about white privilege, and white privileges, and white supremacy. Yeah, that stuff happens, but black privilege. What about black privilege? Hey, Democrat privilege. That's what it is. It's Democrat privilege. Democrats and Trump haters can say and do anything and get away with it, but if a conservative were to do the shit that Jesse Smollett did. He or she wouldn't. He or she would be locked up behind bars, probably for the rest of his or her life. And that's just the way it is. It'd probably get the fucking death penalty. It, it it it's totally corrupt. Our country and our justice system is absolutely totally corrupt. And we really need to um really need to stop this. This this is really. I mean, it's really bothersome. You know, and it's not fair. Why why do they get a pass in everything? They should be. They, they should be held to the same standards as us. They need to be held to the same standards as us and face the consequences that we uh, uh, that um, you and I would face. It's absolutely, it is absolutely, totally ridiculous. It really is. And Jesse Smollett, fuck you. And I really hope that you, you know, pay had to pay Chicago one hundred thirty thousand dollars. And I really hope that you get some pr serve some prison time for faking this hate crime. And I hope and I really hope that despite what the district attorney says and despite what the district attorney did, I really hope that you be brought to fucking justice. And I hope you be and I hope you get in front of twelve jurors. And I hope and I hope they put you in prison for the rest of your fucking life because y your ass should be behind bars. And media needs to really quit talking about you. The media is just. Get, and the media is just building you up. They're giving you more attention. And the thing in the matter is, is the media is 
is your ally. And the, and the more they talk about you, the more that you'll continue to do this. And it's not, and it's really not because you hated Trump so much. It's because you were you were being written off empire, and you weren't getting paid as much money. So you had to act out as attention. You're an attention whore. But sim simply put, you're a piece of shit. And I really hope you get served prison time. And I really hope you're behind bars for the rest of your life. And I really hope you Democrats are brought to justice. And I really hope your asses are you know out of america because we don't need you you are just you are the party of division and resistance that's all you're trying to do you're trying to divide our country you're trying to fucking hate on our troops you're fucking hating on our conservatives you're trying to censor us in the most nazi form that you can and it's it's fucking out absolutely insane i'm sick of this shit i really am sick of this shit and the chicago district attorney you're out of your damn mind I don't see how you look in the mirror and let and let a son of a bitch walk free like this. I really don't see how you look in the mirror and let a motherfucker walk on our streets. I don't see how you look in the mirror and let him get away with the shit that he did. Trying to smear Trump supporters. Trying to attack our president day in and day out. I'm sick of it. And that's all I'll say. Take care of yourselves. Stay positive. Stay happy. And I'll see you in the next video. Fuck you, Jesse Smollett. Fuck you, you Democrats. And fuck the hate Trump media. I hope you all fucking be brought to justice. I really fucking do. And to the District Attorney of Chicago, fuck you, you piece of shit!